What's going on? Bit of a scatterbrain video this week. First of all, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that offered their assistance with my antenna issue. Um, that I will come back to in a moment. <laughs> First, uh, yesterday went to the data center to get the server on the network and we will roll part one of that right here. What's going on? Back in the data center again. Uh, today the goal is to get the server on the network so I can access it from my house. Because right now I can't and it kind of sucks. What we're gonna do is grab one of these magical little carts over here. These are like little little tech carts or whatever. It has like a keyboard and a mouse and stuff. You can plug all your shit into it. Because I can't get, um, well, I couldn't get access to the server before because it didn't have any network connection. So now, today, I need... Uh, let's do this. I was actually leaving my house and was like, man, I need to make sure I have um, tips in my crimper. So I actually pulled over right after I left the house and made sure I had tips and crimper, uh, completely not paying attention to the fact that I didn't have my damn cable with me. So. Yeah, no new cable. Sweet. Okay. So we got USB and USB and VGA. Now the tricky part is power because the power is on the other side. And this isn't that long. Yeah. Is there another way to do this? <laughs> yeah, I was wrapped around. I see. Okay. Plenty long enough. But now, I can see the server. So I'm going to reboot it because I want the GUI. I want that graphical goodness. Is it, uh, whoa. Like that. Uh, this thing takes forever to restart, too. The other thing I'd really like to get set up on this is my CRM, my customer payment portal thing. I don't know if I'll get that done today. My main goal today is just to get this thing on the network because once it's on the network, I should be able to access it from home and if I can access it from home, then I can set all that shit up from there. I don't need to come in here to do it. Another thing I need to do is get my um, Ubiquiti controller set up on it. Originally, I set it up on that old laptop. This is my old HP from, uh, I think I bought this in 2011, and it's still rocking. Like, it's broken and shit. It, it's had a really rough life, but it does still work. Um, actually works pretty damn well. It's still a pretty powerful machine, but the battery doesn't charge anymore, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I brought it in here, like I can just set it up on there and, you know, leave it here and whatever. Uh, while that's true, and it does work, I'd rather have it on the server. It's a little easier. Everything's in one place, access one thing and get to it all. So I'm gonna transfer that over to, I'll probably make another VM in Unraid for that and just have that run by itself but eh, for now it's it's fine I don't I don't need to <sighs> it would be nice if I had another damn Ethernet cable <laughs> oh I do <laughs> uh, I have some oh Juan you are a hero and a saint and a good man I don't know why they're there but I'm stealing one stealing one you guys might meet Juan later Maybe you've met Juan already. I don't know. He's my buddy. That's uh, that's who owns this server. So those are his, and I'm taking one because I need one to plug into that, which I will do right now. Actually, I won't. We're going to do GUI. Ha ha ha. Okay, almost missed that. And okay, now I'm going to plug that in. Oh, I didn't know these were here. It's so good. As long as this is plugged into the switch, I can access the controller on the laptop through the, the cloud or whatever they call it. I don't know. It's, it's cloud enabled. So right now I should be able to open up a browser and go to whatever the cloud address is. 
and pull up the uh, controller in the laptop. Maybe I'll just leave it like this. I don't know. Could, it works. <laughs> as long as it works. It works as long as it works, really? Alrighty, we are up and running. We are gonna do uh, login name and password, so you wait one second. Okay, so up and running. There we go. Um, let's see if I can go to... Why is this all funky colored and shit? Usually that means a VGA cable is not plugged in all the way. Yep, yeah, well, that's just the color of this monitor, I guess. So let's see if I can go to anything. Okay, you're clearly not going to work. Stop. Settings. Uh, okay. Well, maybe it's this one. Maybe that's the one? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because I do have IPs in here. ETH0, maybe it's this one? Because that's the one it was in at home. So it should be that one. Why am I getting no blinky blinky? Why are there no blinky blinky? What the hell? Should be lights. Lights over here. Well, there were a second ago. There we go. No blinky blinky over there. And no blinky blinky here. What the? Uh, why can't things just work? Ever. Ah, I got blinky blinky in that one. Okay, so that one says one. It's labeled one. And this one, being kind of Linux based, ETH zero is one. Uh, okay. Why aren't you working? ETH port zero. Ah, I see you down there. Port zero is down. Uh, okay. Why? Why are you saying that? Because this is the one that it was plugged into at the house. This one went to the, the regular switch. And this one went to the cameras. But it says port is down. I know the cable works. Maybe the nick died. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Switch on port, because hey, why not? Yeah. Uh, this is going to take some time. So I will get back to you if slash when I can get this to work. <laughs> I'll let you know what's going on. Talk to you in a few. I don't know why it wasn't connecting. Everything was set up exactly like it was here. Moved it there, changed the IP, and it wouldn't connect anymore. Wasn't getting any uh, connectivity lights in the port. I mean, just it was saying the port was down, all kinds of weird stuff. So I don't really know what was going on. But like that kid growing up that used to kick your ass at Mortal Kombat all the time by just smashing the buttons like crazy, that's pretty much what I did. I just kept tweaking stuff, and eventually it connected. So that's up and running. Um, don't know how or why, but... Yeah, it works. Then this morning, um, the connectivity issue with the backbone antennas continues. I changed the frequencies. I swapped them the other day and uh, the problem at night went away. It, the antennas were solid every time I looked. This morning, I woke up and right at 7 a.m. in the toilet, just completely useless, wasn't even connected. I was like, what the hell? I do believe that these antennas are just not going to work for this. Um, everyone's saying that a little over eight miles is pretty far for 24, uh, 24 gigahertz. And I guess, yeah, because now I have it set in half duplex just so they're stable and connected and, you know, they work. Honestly, this works okay. It, it's fine. Obviously, I'm getting half the speed that I was but it's a lot more solid, a lot more uh, reliable, so far at least. That's an okay solution for now. Uh, I don't have enough subscribers to really run into any capacity issues anyway, so I can kind of leave it like this for a while and not hurt anything. But eventually, I, I mean, I can't leave it like this forever. So what I'm gonna do is instead of buying a new server like I was going to, I'm going to buy new antennas. 
I'm gonna get five gigahertz antennas. Um, not exactly sure which ones. I'm either looking at these or maybe these. Uh, not real sure which yet. If anyone has any uh, words of wisdom as far as that goes, I'm all ears. Five gigahertz. I, I actually almost bought those too because of the range. The range on those is much longer than the 24 gigahertz antennas, but I wanted that extra bandwidth overhead. I wanted the two gigahertz or uh, two gigabit rather theoretical max. As I explained in the other video, I was, you know, the, the thought process behind that was I could lose half of the, the throughput in the shot and still have my gig that I pay for. Well, yeah, I'm not even getting a gig. So, I mean, the five gigahertz antennas have a theoretical max of one point something, whatever. Uh, if I lose half of that, I'd be getting what I'm getting now. And if it's more reliable, then all the better. And they're a lot cheaper. So yeah, should have got those to begin with, but live and learn. The main problem now though, is after I swap out the antennas, I'm going to have $6,000 worth of antenna laying around and I don't have anything to do with them. I have no idea what the used market is for these antennas. If you can even find anyone to buy them at all. I don't know how big the market is for $6,000 worth of antennas, but hopefully I can find somebody to buy them. Obviously it won't be the full $6,000 retail price because they're used now, but whatever I could get out of them would be good. So if you know anyone starting a wisp that isn't trying to shoot eight point whatever miles, let me know. I got some antennas for them. They've only been up for a couple months and they work great. They're just not reliable. I need reliability. I need a solid connection. Apparently 24 gigahertz was not the way to go. Live and learn, right? And finally, the uh, I, I had someone request to see an install and I actually did have an install this morning. I actually completely forgot to grab the camera as I left because I was thinking about the stupid backbone antennas and everything else. Honestly though, you're not really missing a whole lot. Installs are pretty straightforward. Um, you put a J mount up and you strap an antenna to it and you run a cable. That's pretty much it. If you would like to see that, if anyone else would like to see an install or see how they're mounted or anything else, let me know. I, I can do that, but really there's not a whole lot to it. It's pretty straightforward. If nothing else at all, I could show you the one on my house if you really want to see it and see how it's mounted and whatever. Uh, well, hell, let's go outside, shall we? So this is the antenna on my house. I said I'd show you guys an install and uh, I forgot, so this is the next best thing. The way it is on my house, this is called a gable mount. Uh, it mounts between the two points right here and it's screwed onto the, the side of the house. There's a, I think a 15 foot pole in my case because I need to get over my neighbor's house and trees and all that crap over there. So my house is a, my house has a rather large mount. <laughs> And then I had Herb, the antenna medic, my antenna installer, install that uh, TV antenna as well. That's just to pick up, you know, over the air HD stuff. And then the cables run in there. The, the cool thing about these antennas is all the data and power and everything go through one cable. It runs off PoE, so it's all through one ethernet cable. Makes it super, super easy to install. You just run one cable, that's it. And then this other line right here, I don't know if you can see it very well or not, but that's just a grounding cable. So you have the, the one cable coming out of there, going into the rafters, and then it runs inside where it goes to the switch and the access point and all that shit. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. This is a Nanobeam 5AC Gen 2. It's what I use as all my customer placed equipment, my CPE antennas. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different antennas you could use for that. That's just what I use. They're super easy to install. They're super small. They're not very expensive and uh, you don't need a giant mount to mount them because they don't really weigh anything. They're small. They don't catch a lot of wind so on and so forth. That's just what I use. Usually what you'll use is it's called a J mount. It's what you see like, uh, you know, direct TV dishes mounted on and stuff all the time. I'll put a picture over here so you can see what I'm talking about, but that's usually what you'll see uh, these mounted on is a, uh, like a little J mount. That's actually what the install this morning got put on. So you can use your imagination and kind of do that in your head. <laughs> and that's, that's how the, that's how the install this morning went. Nano beam on a J mount. So yeah, got a lot going on. Got the uh, antenna issue, which is an ongoing thing. I got the, um, the server, which is still in the works, made some progress with that. I'm probably going to start setting up the uh, stuff that I need to now from here because I don't have to go to the data center anymore because I can access it and you know, bleh. that'll be in the works. And then, yeah, other than that, just got to get some damn subscribers now because I'm paying for most of this out of pocket <laughs> and I don't like it. Questions, concerns, whatever else. Uh, thank you everyone that helped out with the issue. Uh, really appreciate it. Questions, concerns, whatever, uh, words of wisdom. I'm all ears. Talk to you later. Bye.